Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. I know our next guest is so excited and I know you at home are excited too because live music is coming back for us to go and see somebody actually not in a screen virtually but performing live in a beautiful, beautiful theater. Her name is Lila Bialy. I'll tell you more about her but she is a Juno Award winning performer. I'm going to throw to a song of hers. It's called Wendy's Song and then we'll catch up to her. Check this out. She was born in southern Ontario A daughter of the land And even though it was mid-January She held the sunflower in each hand All her days were filled with harmony hymns a mother played there was reverence in that farmhouse from foundation had been laid in the fields all of my galaxies the stars Just a beautiful song. Again, that is Juno Award winning performing artist Lila Bialy. And she's also, by the way, the host of CBC Music's Saturday Night Jazz. She joins us here on the show. First of all, just a beautiful song. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, uh, Lila, for joining us. Thank you, Derek, for having me on the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, let's let's talk about, you know, you decided to still, uh, we were talking off camera that you're going to, you know, uh, release your album at the beginning of the pandemic. You, you could have, I guess, waited to do that, but you chose not to. Why? Well, the songs on Out of Dust are really about the movement from darkness into the light. And my thinking at the time was that, you know, people probably could use this music now more than ever um, because we need to hold on to hope, right? When yeah. we're in the midst of something that feels very uncertain. Um, I mentioned off the top too, you know, during the introduction coming into the show, how excited you must be as an artist. I know I'm excited to get back to watching live music. Tell us about what, what that feels like to be back performing live again in front of an audience. Oh, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Because, you know, performing live for me as an artist is the lifeblood of what we do. Uh, it's all about connecting with listeners. And, of course, it's wonderful to be able to do that virtually and online via recordings. But there's nothing like being in a room with people. Their energy, their presence contributes to the show. They may not realize it, but in a way they become part of the band. And there's just no replacement for that experience. 
And performing at the NAC, um, I was talking to you about this as well. You're in one of the sort of the newer spaces there at the NAC, and it's just one of the best places to, to listen and, and enjoy live music, isn't it? The National Arts Centre, in my opinion, is a Canadian treasure. And this will be my debut at the Azrieli studio. Um, and yeah, I, I cannot wait. I haven't seen the space, but I know based on what I've experienced at that venue in the past, it will be a world-class experience. You describe the album as moving from sort of darkness into light, but and I'd like to dig a little bit deeper. What are some of the other themes that you, that you write about on the album? Well, believe it or not, Derek, I get a little political um, on okay. one of the songs. I wrote a tune called Revival, which was about the 2016 U.S. election <laughs> and everything that ensued. Um, but it's a very bright song. It's, again, there's always an undertone of hope. Um, there are songs that talk about just struggles that I've encountered within my, my own family, um, things that friends have overcome. There's a cover of Gregory Porter's Take Me to the Alley, which is all about serving humanity and people who are more marginalized. But again, you know, it can sound like the themes are sort of heavy and serious, but the tone of the show is very bright and optimistic. Right. Uh, still tickets available for your October 30th show? Yes, we were sold out. Uh, and then there was a 10-day gap, and we found out that our um, capacity quintupled. <laughs> it, nice. It's now five times what it was. Excellent. So there are plenty of seats okay. left, um, but people should move fast because we have sold out in the past, even at okay. full capacity. So. Excellent. Lila, yeah. congratulations on the album and congratulations on Back to Performing Live. We appreciate you joining us today. Oh, thank you, Derek. What a pleasure. I'm excited to come back to Ottawa. Great to have you here. We'll be back with more daytime right after this.